Hello everybody, welcome back to the video, I'm Viceroy and we're back today to play some more Dustland Delivery. Since the first video done pretty well, I'm going to record, and I'm recording, as you're watching this now, a second video. Shall we continue our adventure? Let's go. Hello. map don't move a muscle where did we finish off last time we're in a area owned by tyrannis truck is okay tires are okay we have a decent amount of fuel still what task were we on coffee factory a shopkeeper told you a rumor about a huge pre-fall coffee factory he said you'll find a mountain of beans there task guide head to sandstone plains industrial complex but I feel like that's going to be a bad idea. Yeah, it's a mega plague zone. I don't think we're ready to go there yet. Definitely not ready to go there yet. So let's see if we can find an easier job to do. We got to go to... We have to head to Tyrannis and Starlight City. Both of which are over there. So we need to get from here to here. But we want some paid work in between. So we're not doing uh, it for free. So we need to get... Oh, hang on. Knives is very fatigued. Knives needs to sleep. And there's no inn at this place. So if we see... Nope, there's not missions to get here either. Okay. Nope. No missions to be done. No point working. We're okay for scrap at the moment. So let's head over to... We want to go into the plague zone yet, though. I think we should go here. And then head back to Valleyville. This place um, produces fuel, water, building materials, vegetables, thread, rubber, milk, and ore. Does this place need any of those? They need milk. Um, I think that was it, wasn't it? Milk. Milk, thread, rubber, ore, milk. Nope, we can destroy as much milk as we can and we'll take it back with us. Milk. Buy as much as we can afford. As hopefully they'll buy it all. Can we try bargaining? It's only a 15% chance of success, but did it work? Bargaining failed. Milk times 80 purchased at the original price. Other per others purchased the same products as you, changing the price and amount available. Okay, runner, speech went. Oh, so okay, so we, because we tried to bargain, we gained a trait in speech. That's good. That is good. Um, right, so if we head onto the map and we're going to depart, let's go. On the road again. So we're traveling at 44 kilometers an hour. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So resting's not going to do much. Both drivers are exhausted. So if we set up camp and then we're going to sleep. Uh, see, so split. Uh, take the fatigue down by half, so that's good. So if we sleep again, now they're fully... Ooh, it's night time. Uh, yes, so no fatigue anymore. They're both hungry, so if we get them to eat, so you eat some bread. And you eat some bread. They think they're better than rations. First, you should drink some water. What if there's a way of... Is there a way of going between your crew. Ah, there is. Okay, so left and right on the keyboard flips between crew members. Good to know. There probably is a button for that, but I've not found it yet. So, you need to think as well. Why are you still hungry? Why are you still hungry? Okay. Um. Yeah, let's get back on the road. Don't want to hang about uh, out in the sticks for too long. So, if we set out, engine temperature's looking okay. So far, so good. An eventful journey. Sorry if that's loud. <laughs> uh, you have arrived in Old Riverbed Landfill. This place is filled with unwanted detritus. So if we search carefully, there's a low risk at the moment, so we're okay. So we acquired six pig iron. Oh, is that all? Okay. Search again carefully. Pig iron. Not bad. 18%. So we're going to do it once more. 
we get away with it? We did. Six pig and oh, that's very red now. It's not good. We would need to get out of here. Very high risk area. Okay, let's uh, let's leave. Back on the road. And set out. They're just having a general chit chat. Food's looking okay. We got enough food for 53 days. We have 12 tires on board. Not bad. 200 credits, 210 clout. First encounter with gas station. Runner gained 126 experience. First encounter with gas station. Worker gained 120 uh, experience. Uh, a gas station appears on the horizon. It looks like it's been abandoned for a long time, but it might still have some useful supplies. So we're going to search it. I, I feel like as long as the infection and risk isn't too bad, it's, it's worth searching everything thoroughly because you get more stuff by searching thoroughly, uh, I'd assume. Worker had a good time with the gas station event and has started to like it. You find a ton of supplies in the gas station's convenience store. 537 fuel, not bad. Okay, only fuel, but still pretty good. So we're going to collect some water while we're here. This river, being a river, has a lot of water. Surely it can afford to share some with you. Yes, it can. Oh, hang on. I think we've been attacked. So we got seven wastewater. We were attacked due to a high risk. Current chance of being attacked every hour, 16%. So that's 16% then every hour. So of course, because uh, it took us three hours to search, 16% multiplied by three is fairly high chance, but it's only 20 to 37. So we're going to fight because uh, runner has a gun and worker has a melee weapon. So we're going to let him get a bit closer to increase our accuracy. 48%. Let's give it a go. Okay, we landed one hit. A bit closer. Shoot. I'm just going to keep shooting them. There we go. Victory. Crew gained eight experience points. I feel like that's quite low. 8% um, risk. Should we try fishing? 30 minutes. It's not too bad. Ah, I forgot this. Was How does this work? Fish struggle. Fish will struggle after being hooked. Reel them in to reduce struggle. At zero, the fish will be caught. At 100, the fish will escape. Line strength. Reeling in will reduce line strength. Fish will also reduce line strength when they struggle. At zero, your line will break. The higher you're fishing, the less your line strength will be reduced when... Okay, so let's give it a go. See what happens. I haven't successfully caught a fish yet. So I don't know. I don't know how this works. <laughs> okay, fish in the air. We will we'll skip that for now. It's fine. Uh, crew bits come fatigued. We're okay, so driver can take over here at the moment. So set back out. Engine temperature's looking good. Weather's okay. HP impact minus two, but it doesn't seem to have done anything yet. I think maybe that'll damage the tires a bit more as we move along. So heavy rain. If we stop now, we should be able to collect rainwater. Risk uh, is low, so we'll, we'll collect a few of these. And then we'll set back out. Fatigue-wise, we're doing okay. Our one driver's doing fine. So we'll continue the journey for now. How close are we? We're not too far away from our destination. The countdown on the map, and it also will count down here as well. So time to next waypoint. You have arrived in Valleyville, a large city in the central dustlands. A lawful place with abundant resources and well-built amenities. Yay. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go to the store. We're going to sell all that lovely milk that this is in uh, this place is in need of. So we're going to sell. We have 80 on the... Tr okay, so they can't afford to buy all of it. So we'll sell as much as we can. And we're going to try and upsell because I don't think there's a downside to trying to upsell. So we're going to do it. And if we win, we uh, get a bit more money for it. Oh, hang on. A trader from Metropole faction interrupts you. They're planning to sell the same goods as you. Will you let them go ahead of you? Note, this city is controlled by the Tyrannis faction. Note, agreeing will improve relations with this faction. Ah, uh, fine. You politely step aside. The store owner welcomes him, and they give you a nod of thanks. Metropole relations plus two. But now, how many am I going to be able to sell? Mm, none. Literally none. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Um, 
delivery missions to the bar. But before we do that, let's treat our drivers to a night at the inn. Standard room per person. Here we go. I, I feel like they deserve it. And they're both hungry, so let's uh, give them something to eat. And give you something to eat. I mean, bread apparently is good. Right, so if we go to the bar, then we're going to see if there's any delivery missions we can do. So go to the broker. Run a soul adventure for the first time. Gain experience points. Work a soul adventure for the first time. Gain experience points. Client, no faction. Central gas station has purchased appliances for some local government uh, functionaries. Deliver appliance box times two to central gas station. Provided by client. So that's good. So it's an easy mission. The cargo is provided by the clients. So we don't have to go hunting for it. It's worth 974 scrap. Let's do it. Even though it's slightly in the wrong direction. I'm sure we can manage it. Dust walls. Mm, they might not want to talk to us. However, this person's in the same faction. And they, there's a higher success rate. Wonder why. Uh, now nah, we don't want to. We don't want to bribe them to allow us to work from. Tyrannis, however. Run a soul clock for the first time. Gain experience points. Um, crew Town is awaiting a batch of mail. Deliver mailbox times one to Crew Town. Provided by clients, so that's good. Wait 500. Okay, so we're still with it, well within our um, ability to carry it. Uh, 724 sc scrap. Yeah, why not? Okay. Oh, thinking about it, actually. We've already got milk on board, don't we? Lots of milk. Um, ah. Yeah, didn't think of that. Uh, oh, we're going back over there. So maybe we go, ooh, mega place. So, oh wait, that's for another mission. Um, so there's Crew Town and Tyrannis. Let's just double check where we're going. Central Gas Station and Crew Town. So if we go to here first, so boop, boop, we'll skip around the uh, the plague zones. We don't want to go there. And let's go. So luckily, the game does auto-save every time you leave a city. First encounter with Roblox. Run a gained 126 experience. First thing out of Roblox, worker gained 120 experience. Some jerk has set up a barricade in the middle of the road. You see the wrecks of all the cars that tried to break through it. What do you want to do? What do we want to do? Um, ram through the barricades, remove the barricade from the road, but that's going to cost us 50 scrap. Or if we take a detour, um, I imagine that will cost us time. But I don't think ramming through them is a good idea. And they only want to spend scrap to remove them. So let's take a detour. Looks like you're taking the long way round. Headed down life's crooked road. Time passed. Three hours and 20 minutes requires 10 fuel. Okay, fuel, not too bad. The, the lost time isn't an issue because we got lots and lots of time to do these time tasks. But um, engine temp's good. And uh, let's carry on. No wetland. Crew fatigued, but we can swap drivers as fine, which they already have automatically. Hey, okay, so far so good. We're 130 kilometers away from our next checkpoint. Snow. Oop, stop and oh, there's no option to admire the moon this time. Normally there is. That's odd. Notification. First encounter with infected swarm. Oh dear. Okay. A massive swarm of infected stretches all the way to the horizon. Just what you want to see as a trucker in this kind of landscape, right? Nothing good has ever been described as a swarm. Ram your way through, bite, or flee. Well, we're definitely not doing the first... Hmm. Could we ram our way through? I feel like we'd be... No, but we'll go around. I feel like we'd be overwhelmed if we try to ram our way through, and that's not a good thing. You manage to escape, though it takes a while. Oh, 60 fuel. We're okay. We're, we're still okay on fuel. We're doing okay. And set out. Is 
So we're only 170 kilometers away from our gas station arrival. Virtue plus one. Yay! You completed the task. Well done. Reward 974 scrap and three clout. I won't read that again because we already know what that is. So repair shop. Um, we don't need to repair the track. But can we upgrade the track? What could we do? We can upgrade the amount of crew. Oh, we don't have enough scrap for that. No in here. Actually, we don't have enough scrap for any of these, so... <laughs> Skip that. Um, should we go back... Because I know we gotta go to Crew Town. But we have to go back past here anyway. But we'll see if we can sell some... Oh no. Oh yeah, it still needs milk. So we'll go back past there. See if we can uh, sell some of the milk. And then we'll call into Reedville. And then we're gonna go here to see if we can get some crafting parts. And then to Crew Town. I feel like that's a good course of action. Um, Penalty-wise, we haven't got any issues, so I don't think we've overloaded our truck. Uh, we're going to let the engine cool down a minute, though, but we'll use some water. Um, our crew is hungry and fatigued. So we're going to set up camp for a second, because we still got plenty of time on this time task. We're going to kitchen. So, to boil water in the game, you need to start fire from this option. And then boil water. So, boiling water does require fuel, so be careful with that. Requires 12 waste water, and it will take 1 hour 30 minutes. So, we'll do that. And then that gives us 12 clean water to use. And then camp. You can do events to sort of relieve stress, you can party, you can hook up, or you can share knowledge. So let's share some knowledge. It doesn't always succeed, but fatigue is quite high, so let's sleep for the night. There we go, fatigue's good. Um, these are runners quite stressed. So what we're going to do is we're going to console them, and workers are going to try to consult them. After a successful attempt at consolation, runner's stress was reduced, but workers' stress increased slightly. Both sides think slightly better of each other. That's good. Because sometimes when you do this, um, like one of the crew will think worse of the other one after consoling them. Oh, Maya Moon. Always oh, admire Moon if you can because it reduces stress. And we were attacked. Wonderful. And we're going to fight them because why not? Let's wait for them to get a bit closer. Night penalty. So accuracy is half because it's night time. I do believe you can get upgrades for your truck, like lights and things that will help with this. Oh, there we go. They didn't uh, have a chance to attack us. The moon's lovely tonight. You feel like you could look at it for an eternity. Stress slightly reduced. And admire moon again, because sometimes you can do it twice. But never three times. <laughs> All right, let's set back out on our adventure. The stress levels are quite considerably lower now, so that's good. We come across a hitchhiker. A lone traveler by the side of the road waves you down. They ask if you can give them a lift. Hmm. I mean, they buy a car that looks broken down. So I'm I'm gonna say I think they're genuine. But in this kind of world, you you know, a good deed could always turn on you. But we're gonna let them board. You and the hitchhiker really hit it off. They want to join your crew. Oh, cool, okay. Well, I haven't had that happen before. And the new member of the crew is a gardener? Right. That would be useful when we have our own um, base thingy. And because they're new, all their levels are zero. So that's good. Right, okay, so it was worth picking up the hitchhiker. Free crew member. Yay. Just got to keep an eye because now it's three crew on board. Our food and our water is going to go down a bit quicker than it did before. And hopefully we'll make some money from selling milk now at the next stop. If you click forecast, it tells you what the weather's going to be. It does disappear a bit too quickly, and the devs have said that they're going to look to fix that. So that's good. It does seem like the devs are quite active in fixing bugs and things for the game at the moment, so that's always a good sign with an early access game. 
Okay, so engine is getting a bit uh, smoky there. But I think we're not too far from our destination. Oh, hang on. Car camp. You come across a camp of survivors. They seem to be running a shop out the back of the car. Um, We're going to ignore them for now. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to ignore them for now. Yay, you have arrived in Valleyville. First visit to Valleyville, Gardener. Gained 500 experience points. Nice. So let's see if we can sell the milk this time without uh, interference, eh? We can sell some of it. Not all of it, but most of it. Um, let's try upselling. No, we're selling it this time, Syndicate Faction. Yay, we successfully uh, bargained for 10% premium on the milk. So we made more money too. So a 6,371 scrap now. Nice. Do you want to buy any more? No, nope, we're all uh, bought out. No worries. Okay, so where's next? Next is Reedville. They need flour, cloth, tea, button mushroom, oyster, mushroom, matsutake, and agaric. Does this place sell any of that stuff? Uh, our cloth tea. No, 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 no. Odd. Oh, I don't think we do actually. So this is going to be a quick one. Driver is pretty fatigued and whatnot. Oh, we do have an attribute point to use. What do we want to improve? I think speech would be a good one for bargaining. I feel like that's a good idea. Um, so what, we're going to rest for the uh, for a while. There we go, it's a bit better. And we're going to leave this city. We're gonna leave this city. Dee 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 dee. We will need to make sure that whenever we can, let's stop, collect some rainwater. Risk is low, so I think we're okay. We'll collect some more rainwater. And we'll collect some more rainwater. And then next time we make up camp, we'll boil some. Probably a good idea when you're playing this to um, keep an eye on your fuel levels. Maybe if it gets below a thousand, look to buy more. Because it's always worth having more fuel than running out. I have run out once while playing this game, and it's pretty brutal. It's basically game over, end of. You have arrived in Reedville. In the middle of this town lies a small pond lush seemingly connected to an aquifer. Pond lush with reeds is probably the most interesting thing about the place. First visit to Reedville for the gardener. Gain 200 experience points. Wow, that is a hell of a storm. Like, damn, that's a hell of a storm. Okay, do we have any delivery missions we can undertake? And ones that are going to take us in the right direction. Due to their incompatible traits, plain pretty, Gardner and Adventurer's opinions of each other have fallen by 13. Well, that's not good. Um, so they want us to take some stuff to... Um, to where? Oh, up there. Okay, Mountain Way. Um, that is quite far away from where we are. Very, very far away from where we are. But they are paying nearly 2,300 scraps. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Because we can. Can we get rid of some of this milk that we're carrying? No. Okay. So next stop is the landfill. And then we're going tires, fruit, and rubber. Can we buy any of those things here? Abandoned items. Fruit. Okay, we can buy some fruit. Bargain. Only 12%. Yeah, I thought it might fail. We increased speed, so it's always worth trying it. I mean, as far as I can tell, there's no reason not to try it at this moment in time because there doesn't seem to be a penalty. Um, what's wrong with you, driver? Stress. So, bar. Get frisky. I'll show you what this does. Renaissance bodyguard for the first time, blah, 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 blah. Bodyguard is a woman with two charm. Getting frisky with bodyguard will reduce stress for Gardner. Nope, it's not Gardner we need to worry about. Uh, you gonna talk to us? Nope. Okay, I'm not paying you. Yeah, yeah, stop raining. If you click on these people as well, you can um, get healing and 
Oh, you want to hear a song? Great, I don't perform for free. Uh, no. <laughs> Come on, man, I ain't eaten in days. Now you give this guy food, he complains. Buy yourself something nice. Virtue plus one. You make a big show of giving a donation to the beggar. You get a few approving nods and smiles. Your reputation improves. But it cost me 300 scrap to do so. And you can buy some uh, guns from this person. Oh no, it's food from this one. Sometimes you can buy guns, sometimes you buy food. Do we want any of those? Um. Yeah, why not? Our people deserve to eat well, right? Okay, let's set back out. Engine temperature's okay. And if you click here, it'll tell you anything that's impacting your, um, your engine temperature. You come across a camp of survivors. They seem to be running. No, we're gonna. We don't. We're not interested. Not yet. Oh, weather's changing. Do, 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 do. So, crafting menu here. That we've been through before. You can see everything you can craft. You arrived in El Tufo Landfill. This place is filled with unwanted detritus. First time some of us are here. So, risk is zero at the moment. So, let's do a curf ca careful, a careful search. So we found 210 scrap, some pre-fall material, some iron, a mystery liquid, dodgy, scrap paper, foil, glass, and pig iron. Now it's 14% risk now. So if we search carefully, it's another two and a half hours. It's a fairly high chance of getting attacked. So we're going to search hastily. Didn't find as much, but I think that's probably about the limit of which we're willing to go to. So if we're going to leave, and we're going to set up. Oh, hang on, there's storm. Let's stop waiting for the, the storm to pass. But be careful though. Here we are, it's past now. We don't want to hang around here too long because the risk is quite high. So, uh, set back out. We have three drivers now who can drive, which means less stopping. That's always good. And um, we're on 190 kilometers away from our destination. It was fatigued, but that's all right. Notification, Tyrannis Relations plus two. Worker Virtue plus one. You completed the task. Well done. Three clout. Crew town. And it's Gardner's first time in Crew town. Our engine temperature is quite high, so we need to make sure we to, uh, solve that before we go too far. So a store, scarce items. We're going to sell some fruit as much as we can. We're going to upsell it. Nope, dust wolves. You're not getting ahead of me. Worker speech. There we go. And there's not much more we want to do here, I don't think. But what's what's your abundant items? Fuel, clothing, and milk. Um, fuel, we're going to buy some fuel. Um, yeah, let's buy a thousand fuel. See if we can bargain. Yay! 10% discount on fuel. Nice. Uh, where's next? We're going to... Do, 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 do. Tyrannis. Wait, was it Tyrannis? Oh, no, Mountain Way we're going to next, aren't we? up there. We'll go, we'll go via Tyrannus, it's fine. Is there anything here that Tyrannus needs? Fuel, clothing, milk. Um, nope, none of the above. So on that bombshell, we are going to, since there's no bar, um, we're not talent scouts, they're slave traders, so don't get involved with them. Well, it's up to you, you can, but I'm not gonna. And leave city, and we're gonna cool the engine before we do anything. We're gonna use six water. Nope, that was nowhere near enough, so let's do that again. Eight. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Um, set out. Oh, you can level up. Nice. So, since you're a gardener, um, farming and cooking are really high. 14 bucks to uh, upgrade the trade point now, and 15, because these are so high. I don't know if much a point in upgrading these when farming. Actually, we might leave them as they are for now. Uh, you spot a crashed airplane. Somebody seems to have made a camp out of the wreckage. Roach? Ah, damn it. The dust lands are infested with roving gangs of bandits, always hunting for prey. 
you currently have the misfortune of being the aforementioned prey. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, do we get ready for a fight? 77 to 148. This is not a good idea. Um, we're going to run. Yeah, I don't think... No, I don't think we're going to survive that one. Burn fuel. We bravely ran away. There's nothing wrong with running away because you live to survive another day. Now, let's get out of here. <laughs> Runner has reached their stress limit. Um, uh, they damaged the truck and blew in some fuel. Because they had a nervous breakdown. You feel better now? Well then. You just, you damaged your truck and you lost fuel. Is that really what you wanted? Well, at least there's a bar in Tyrannus. It's one of like the main cities in the game. Snow, snow is fine. We'll continue driving through snow. So what we don't want to do is the engine temperature to drop to zero. Because that means the engine will stall. So when you're driving through snow, if it's getting too close to zero, you might want to stop. Main story, the Tyrannus Deed. You have arrived in Tyrannus, a large city located in the middle of the Dustlands. Some say it stood here long before society fell to pieces. After the fall, military peacekeeping forces garrisoned the city and built defenses here, preparing for an onslaught by infected hordes. Now the city is run by a demo democratically elected government. Okay, confirm. You've arrived in the bustling city of Tyrannis. You should find the mayor if you want to claim your deed. Let's go see this mayor. The mayor is a middle-aged man in an old military uniform. His face is weathered with deep-set wrinkles, but his eyes are as sharp as a younger man's. The scuttlebutt back in Valleysville has it that he was born before the fall. You've also heard that the city's been facing some sort of crisis. Lost in thought, the mayor finally notices your presence. State your business. After hearing why you're there, the mayor invites you to sit with a warm but professional smile. As he looks over your deed, his smile turns into a frown. This looks authentic enough, but it's far too old to be valid. Normally we'd compensate you with cash, but I'm afraid the city's finances have fallen on some hard times. So you're cheating us out of our land? Come on, kid. It's not like that. There's things going on here that you don't understand, all right? Gardener gained 150 experience points. Started, main story, birthright. Confirm. Ah, okay. Lot thickens. Do we have anything we can sell? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. No, we don't. Right, so uh, do we have any deliveries we can do? I'd say now we should probably uh, leave stress. So we're going to pay v for a VIP room to try and lower the stress levels here. Um... Is there anybody run I can get frisky with so we can like reduce their stress? Um, runner and driver's opinions of each other increased by 22. Driver is a woman with one charm. Getting frisky with driver will reduce stress for runner gardener. Okay, let's go. Both of them. <laughs> I won't ask questions if you don't. That was the most <laughs> un undefying spirit. Un and a defying experience of Gardner's life. They never want to see that person or this city again. It's less. Stress slightly reduced. That wasn't bad. Runner feels a little better. <laughs> wow. Okay, they didn't enjoy that at all, did they? Okay. Let's see if we can get a delivery mission. So where are we going with this one? Um, blah, blah, blah. Locate. Western gas station, okay. I mean, it's kind of on the way. Ish. You could do that. Okay, we'll um, we'll take that. Um, we're good on fuel and whatnot. These are hungry. So, well, we'll treat them to a meal. 108 scrap in the restaurant. There we go. That's a lot better, isn't it? Um, let's just check. There's nothing we can buy. So, we're going here first to wheat stock. He says we're going to have to go boop. Boop. And then boop. So anything this place sells that this one needs. Rations, wood, dry vegetables, salt, pork. Or salt pork even. And dried chicken. 
rations, building materials, wood, meds. So rations and wood. Yeah, rations and wood. Uh, store, abandoned item, abundant items even. Rations, buy as many as we can. Bargain, because why not? Failed, but still. And wood. Oop. We're running out of money. Let's hope this pays off because we're running out of cash. Bargain, can we get a discount? Damn it. And okay, we're ready to set off. So we're going to leave the city and. I think one of our tires are damaged, maybe? Ooh, what sunrise? That reduces stress. Check tires. Tire 1.8%. Okay, remove. Uh, rest are usable for now. Okay, let's go. Not enough tires. They have nine. I have nine tires. How is it not enough? There's an encounter with pickup cam. You spot a few survivors camped out by their pickup truck. They seem to be resting. We're going to ignore them because I don't trust people anymore. Oh, you can level up. What are we going to level you up on? Um, worker. We're going to level up your intellect. The risk of infection here is pretty low. Um, how are we doing on supplies? So we have 64 weight waste water. Milk, we're okay. Vegetables, bread, rations. We've got loads of rations, so that's fine. Um, how much clean water do we have, though? 48? Yeah, 48. You arrived in Wheatstalk, a small town in the middle of the Central Plains. With fertile soil suitable for farming, but due to its proximity to a number of major cities, most of its young people have moved away, leaving only the old-timers behind. As, you, as soon as you enter the village, you're stopped by a kindly old woman. Hello, dearies. Do you have time to help out this little old lady? She gives you a grandmotherly smile. I'll pay you 40 food. Yeah, sure. What do you want us to do? Oh, you're a peach. It's already harvest season, but my arthritis has been acting up. I couldn't possibly do all the harvesting myself, but I don't want my crops to just rot in the fields. Would you be able to... Would you be a dear and help me out? Sure. Why not? You help the old lady harvest her crops. It's back-breaking work. You have no idea how that old lady managed to do this before. When you go to collect your reward from the old woman, she's locked herself in her house. In a bucket outside the door is only 10 food. When you knock and tell her it's less than you agreed on, she shouts back through the door, Take it or leave it, buckos. Oh, well, we just got con, didn't we? Um, what's gotten into you? Break the door down or, oh well. <laughs> Well, I feel like breaking the door down on an old lady's house would be a bit over the top. So we're going to go with option one. Notification. If I gave you all that food, what would I eat? You trying to let an old lady starve? Assholes. Wow. Oh, well. <laughs> Ten rations and some experience points. You got stiffed. But are you really going to rob a little old lady? Stucks to suck. Well, I told us, didn't it? Store. Let's see if we can make some of that money back. Um, so we're going to sell some wood. Boop, ramp that right back. Upsell. Nope, Metropole. Are you here first? Uh, we failed, but we gained some speech. And what else do we have? Not rations. I'm sure there was something else we picked up to trade, wasn't it? Two things. Did I look at the wrong thing? Um, oh, is our load up there? So we're well under. We're okay. I'm sure I bought something else to trade. Maybe I'm wrong. No. Nope. So abandoned items, tires. Let's buy some tires. I feel like that's a good idea. Um, let's buy twenty tires, but we're gonna bargain from because why not? Nah, damn, failed. So sugar cane and wheat. Sugar cane and wheat. Do you need any of these things? No, you do not. So we're going to depart. Crew exhausted. Oh, that crew member is. First encounter with pile of corpses. Damn. 
you find a gruesome pile of dead bodies by the side of the road. Simple travellers, from the looks of their equipment, you aren't sure what misfortune befell them. What do you want to do? Um, I feel like the right thing to do would be bury them. We gain virtue. Gardner is disgusted by her goody two-shoes actions. Wow. Gardner's harsh. Tensions have reached the boiling point. You need to find a way to reconcile this trucker with the rest of your crew. Sit down for a heart to heart. And we got attacked. Oh wait, Gardner left. Wow. The discussion only serves to highlight the divisions between the trucker and the rest of the crew. They decide that they're better off on their own. I'm glad I didn't invest uh, books in Gardner to upgrade their skills. We were attacked due to a high risk. Oh, we're gonna. Well, oh no, I didn't want to do that. That's fine. I wanted to fight them. Do 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 do. Get a bit closer and shoot. 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 Yay! I probably should have melee on the last one to save the uh, ammo. Never mind. Set out. Well, I can't believe we lost Trucker. Ah, uh, no. It's snowing out and your engine's too cold to run. What will you do? If you don't have any wastewater, you can turn purified water into wastewater via the crafting panel. Start the engine. It's not cold anymore. Engine still doesn't start. Start the engine. There we go. Do 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 do. Our copyright song on us. Ooh, terrain, forest. Went quite slow, aren't we? Forest is bad to drive through, apparently. Much of the forest left? No, we're nearly there. Forecast is looking okay. This city belongs to the Dust Wolves faction. Due to your relations with them, zero, you have been barred from entering. Unless you pay at all or bribe the guards. 50% chance of success, or we can spend 20 clout to ask their leader. I mean, we got 220, so why not? We need to deliver you, so we have to. You completed the task. Well done. 2,000 scrap. You arrived in Western Gas Station, located to the west of the Central Plains. This gas station is a popular rest stop among truckers headed for the Western Hill. And we gained experience points and lost 20 clout for being here. Was there anything we could sell you? No. You want to keep the med kits? That would be a good idea. Details. But we could spend clout to try and change the uh, ownership of this place. Do we want to do that? Probably not a good idea. But if these gain more influence, I'm guessing they will then take over if it's more than 25.5%. So suppress. <laughs> right, folks, I'm going to leave that video there. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, in fact, enjoy it, please feel free to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. And if you want to subscribe, it would be much appreciated. Until next time, everybody. Have a good one. Bye for now.